it's been raining so the water is overflowing which I love even though it's not sunny today I think I'm going to have a swim after a real treadmill exercise in the Then when I'm hot, I'm going to switch on the air condition up here. So this is the Balinese carved thick wood gate or door. Not not this one. This one this one was not included. This was just added because of the previous tenant who had a baby and didn't want to have the baby walk towards the swimming pool. So this is the intricate carving by the Balinese. But I think this is more Japanese than Balinese carving. Traditional carving by the Japanese. from Java. I need to have it varnished, I think. What do you think? Leave it as it is? So this is from far. The door to heaven. <laughs> it's been raining every day and this morning there's a little bit of sun but now it's back to cloudy but I can see through the water this time. So I'm going to feed the fish. There I'm throwing some food to the fish. I hope they can appear to the surface because I hardly see them. There's some more. It's not. It's not even 9 a.m. Come on, fish, appear, please. I don't see you. I see one only down there, but doesn't make any movement whatsoever. Let's see. So, color coordination. It's raining again outside. It's um, after lunch, well, it's past 2 o'clock p.m. And uh, yes, I'm making this vlog for you. And didn't plan, but since I have it, might as well flaunt it. <laughs> the color of this dragon fruit, my earrings, my cardigan. Yes, it's a little bit cold, not cold, but it's humid but a little bit cooler in fact last night i didn't sleep with the air condition on so it's nice for a change so cheers but it's not a, an alcohol drink all right so anyway uh, i'm going to make uh, this uh, uh, into another vlog i mean the vlog that is ready to be 
export it and uh, edit it and then post it hopefully tonight and so uh, well there's so much to tell but I don't know how to say it you know it's funny because by now it's almost one year I'm doing these vlogs and yet I'm still stuttering or uh, just you know just short for, for 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 things to say and yet there's so much to tell from Italy bought it like four years ago with my friend oh yes my friend who's uh, in London I think right now she's uh, British uh, yeah and uh, she's also lived uh, for many many years in uh, Milan if not one more year before I came so she's much more uh, Milanese uh, so anyway um, yeah what shall I uh, say uh, okay I'm going to avoid politics okay that I'm not going to discuss about on my vlogs or with friends for that matter because you know it's a touchy subject <laughs> so uh, anyway uh, shall I talk about divine interventions you know things that are uplifting and positive I can do that okay I have to stop once in a while no I think about divine intervention I'll do it next time it's just too profound to uh, say you know to share to share them with you in a hurry the reason why I have to do in a hurry because like I say I st I'm still using my uh, old iPhone 5s and um, you know I, there's no storage as well as in on my laptop as well anyway um, actually I should uh, what what shall I do can you please suggest what would you like me to talk about or all I can share with you is I've been wearing old clothes all this time I haven't bought a new dress whatsoever for years only one or only here and there but not the whole wardrobe and yet if you buy or if your style is uh, understated or let's say classic not too classic because classic style doesn't go with with me and uh, you know you you can always wear the same clothes years in years out they will never look out of style as long as you know how to coordinate of course and also you know just uh, know the basic uh, rule that rules that are unspoken actually in Milan and that's why I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make a course out of it but I have to coordinate and uh, compile in such a way that it becomes like a course and I'm still contemplating on doing that there are unspoken rules in Milan not so much applied but those who know style in Milan especially the Milanese they know already uh, whether you understand their style or not by just seeing the, the things you put together and that's why I love about Milanese style because every material every color every season every cut and shape be it in clothes or in shoes or in bags or in makeup have significance so you don't do things randomly you know so you buy things because it has significance it's not random and that's what I love and that's what I am attempting to introduce to you even though maybe you don't care because <laughs> it doesn't matter I know but you know it's fun to know it gives meaning to the to the to the things you purchase down to the details of the material and shapes and cuts which is a great fun especially if you go to Italy for your information not to 
put the Italians under the ba bus, but especially in Milan, since I lived in Milan, you know, they would actually sneer behind your back, sorry, tourists, when you come to Milan, because for them, it's like scandalous the way you put your clothes together or the way you coordinate the outfit together. It's not important, I know, it's not important. You know, it's a petty thing that I'm talking about here. But it's really, really lovely to know, you know, so that you under, you can feel that every little item you buy has worth. For example, this is old. I bought this like, um, when was this? I bought this like, I think, nine years ago. This one, like, already, outfit is already also 10 years and yet I can wear I can still wear them now and that's my point because you know you know how to choose the, sh the combination that you can put together for every three months every season I don't live in Italy anymore so there's no four seasons anymore in Jakarta but hey I apply still the same rules because then you don't get bored with your clothes. Every three months you can wear something completely different. You can change the whole wardrobe. And then the next three months again. So, so you're not bored with the same random clothes every time. And that's the aim that I'm trying to introduce to those who would like to know. So anyway, so I'm closing this vlog for today. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And in the meantime, whoever, <laughs> uh, you know, has been following, following me with my uh, videos, please subscribe so that I know who you are. And uh, or at least I know there are some uh, people who appreciate, you know, what I'm trying to share. Uh, thank you so much and uh, see you in my next video. Ciao.